AI is going to give the capacity to intelligence agencies around the world to control human behavior, to control human perception in ways that no other generation in the world has even imagined. It's been the ambition of every totalitarian state in the history of mankind to control all of our movements, to control every aspect of human behavior, our, our interactions with each other, our transactions, our communications with each other, our movements, but they haven't been able to do that. But today, within three or four years, they're going to be able to. And this is a frightening thing for us. So we need to do a number of things at the same time. We need to build up our constitutional protections, not be dropping those barriers like we have in the past four years to make sure that our constitutional rights and our freedoms are guaranteed. We need to make AI transparent. We need to require the big social media sites and anybody else who uses AI to make their algorithms transparent so that we know at least we're going to be manipulated. We ought to be able to know how we're being manipulated, and we can only do that if we have transparent algorithms. We need to make treaties with other countries around the world because even if we regulate in this country, it's going to be all over the world and everybody can develop it. And we need to actually sit down with people who we are not talking to today. President Xi in China, President Putin in Russia, and countries all over the world that are now developing very, very high performance AI that is very frightening. And we need to be talking to all of them and making sure that we develop treaties that protect humanity.